What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Berserk Manga Chapters 14 and 15. Last chapter, we started to, I would say, see maybe glimpses of what Griffith may truly be. Him speaking of, you know, I'd even want my friends to put their dreams ahead of me, even if that means, you know, I'm in their way. You know, he... <laughs> Kind of roundabout, put it that way. Which, if I'm his friend hearing that, or as a viewer reading that, if he thinks his friend should do that for their goals and their dreams, what the hell does he think of his friends if it comes time between decisions to make between them and his dreams? You know? Um, word has spread throughout, you know, the assassination of Prince and, you know, his son. Uh... Griffith, I think the most iconic shot that we've had in the last couple chapters of Griffith, given that, I don't know what that guy's name is, giving him the stare down. Uh, yeah, it's like I've said it for five, six, eight chapters now. It's very Game of Thrones esque of everybody's moving their chess pieces, trying to elevate themselves, assassinate, backstab. Um,. And it's wild to think about this because this isn't even what the story is. Because <laughs> we we're having a flashback. We know what becomes of each. <clears throat> so this whole hierarchy in Midland, I don't even know if that's still even an important thing. Fast forwarding to the current timeline and stuff, you know. But we'll go ahead and get on it. we get the music going in the background. That's going. Uh, and yeah, this will go up on Friday. Uh, 16 and 17 will be up on Monday. Before I forget, everybody enjoy their holiday weekend. I don't think anybody should be working on Monday. Um, but I will have the chapters up on Monday for you guys to see. Let's do it. Chapter 14. Oh yeah, we saw them riding out at the end. Griffith in his helmet. You guys can't see my cursor, can you? Now you should be able to. Oh yeah, and then we had a big kind of thing. Is it safe to say that Guts is maybe liking Casca in a romantic way? She touched him last chapter and he didn't freak out. Nor did he even have a moment of where he like hesitated for a second. It just happened. Um, so, I've also never seen his interactions with girls before, by the way. At a time like this, what's wrong? You look pale. Nothing, come on, let's do this. What does she mean at a time like this? Are we talking about, like, women problems at a time like this? Like she's on her period or something? Or is this, is it that self-explanatory? Or are we talking, like, higher demon? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is, she's getting, like, nauseous and cramps and she's sweating. And they don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, come. I think maybe that's what that is. She's not pregnant, is she? By who? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to read too much into it. All right. It looks like, again, just the Band of the Hawks group out here mowing down another uh, nameless platoon. Ricker and Pippin and Judo and everybody just going off, doing what we do. Everybody just out here doing what we do. Yeah, it's that simple. Phew, this is a melee. Yeah, y'all are, uh... We're really out here throwing hands. I ain't gonna lie. Casca seeming a little, uh, flustered. Huh. Look at this dude. Looking like an Elden Ring uh, boss or some shit. So you're her. The only woman who commands a thousand of the Band of the Hawks. Oh, wow. Cask out there getting a... Getting a name for herself. And he immediately knew who she... Well, I guess because she would be the only woman on the battlefield. The only woman who commands a thousand of the Band of the Hawk. I can't stomach it. A woman playing at being knight. Yeah. Women are inferior to men in strength. What use could they be in a battle? 
You might have a use as a nighttime plaything for your fellow soldiers. Wow. But he's saying she's just getting tossed around. She's getting ran through by the squad. Well, and, th and then notice this this guy's going to get his instantly murdered, right? Some nameless. Like, he didn't even get a name, by the way. What was that? Perhaps you've even achieved your rank of commander by sneaking into that man Griffith's bedroom. Oh, she don't want to hear that. That's a sensitive subject. I was about to say, she's lucky she didn't get her damn head split in half. She goes in there all emotional, and he comes down with a full force axe chop, splits her, bla splits her sword, and splits her helmet. She's lucky it didn't go straight down to her base of her neck. But I do want to see her... I want to see her succeed in taking this guy down without Griffith or Guts or anybody's help. You know, because it'll, it'll just kind of more underline what he was saying. You know, oh, you sleep around, that's how you do this. A woman couldn't command all these men and yada yada yada. I want to see her show that, like, she does have skill, and she's not dependent on them. He knocks her on her ass. She tumbles out the way. Oh, he's got a trident. Is that what that is? I think he does. What the hell? Couldn't get a clear shot of it, but I think he has a straight up tri a damn pitchfork. Yep, lands right between her legs. This guy's strong. The battlefield is a sacred ground of men. I, Adon, head of the Blue Whale Ultra Heavy Armored Fierce Assault Annihilation Knight Corp. <laughs> Shall teach you the folly of your frivolity. Never said that word in my life. In setting foot upon it. The Blue Whale Ultra Heavy. Armored Fierce Assault Annihilation. They're getting wild with these names. I mean, she's... She's quick. But she's... <laughs> uh, can she even close the gap? He's on mounted armored horse. With a ranged weapon, by the way. I can't. I've, I've got no strength. Big Sis. Commander Casca. Damn you fools, keep back. Oh, and then he just sliced through them, wow. Beheads one, disarms another. Pretty much decapitates, but oh yeah, it's just, it's a mess. If you let yourself be led by a woman, you're weaklings. Damn you, what's wrong, nowhere left to run? Oh wow, it's right at her throat, go on. Go on. You would horn yourself like a man, but you're quite the gem, aren't you? I'll offer you a chance. If you come quietly as my prisoner, you can leave this place alive. What I mean by prisoner is, is you beat my... Basically, she, she'd be for the streets. <laughs> she'd be for his army streets. Can she even get out of this? Like I said, I want to see her do it. <clears throat> I don't know if she can. We've never really seen. Cask in action on the battlefield, have we? I know she's second in skill. Or was second in skill. Behind Griffith before Guts arrived. But we've never seen her do any crazy feats. As we've seen like Griffith and Guts do. So I want to see her get her moment. Go to hell, dog. Then you die. That was his mistake, cocking that back. You had it at her throat. You're telling me you can't muster enough power to thrust that through? Instead, he's going to wind back up and open himself up. Wait, is she just... Is she just closed eyes accepting that shit? Big sis. Uh, she was... Am I reading that wrong? She was just going to sit there and eat that. Guts comes and saves her life. They're going to fall in love, these two. They're going to be like, Griffith who? They really are if they're not already. Oh, God. Is, does, you think Guts takes this guy down in one swipe? 
This ain't like you, Guts. Raiders, Captain Guts. Yep. Right through the dude. Yep. Killed him. Like that. Anyone will do. I just feel like swinging this with all my might until I can't think about anything else. Wow. Okay. That guy's dead. We know Griffith, I mean, Griffith Guts has got a lot going on mentally right now with the whole assassination thing that really turned messy as hell. And then... At the moment, we, we still have never got, at any point, Guts has been growing up of, like, what he wants or what he would want to do. He's kind of just, like, dedicated himself to following Griffith, but... I think we saw it at the end. We'll go ahead and get ready for the next chapter. We saw it at the end of whatever chapter that was where Griffith told Guts what he wanted, you know, his own kingdom and everything, and then Guts went off to the night sky and kind of sat there and pondered, like, well, damn, what is it that I want? And he never came up with an answer. We kind of got hints from him that, you know, he didn't want his men to die. He wanted to lead them. He wanted to be successful for uh, Griffith. But that, that still didn't answer what he wanted. And then time goes by, we never brought it back up. Last chapter, we get, you know, I'd want my friends to, you know, essentially step over me if they have to for their dreams. And then we saw Guts thinking again, like, dang, well, what the hell are my dreams? Still never got that answer. He's going through a lot mentally at the moment. So, uh, we'll see. What's up with her? Is she having, like... Is it that time of the month? Is she pregnant? Is she sick and dying? A lot of ways to interpret that. Uh, there he goes with that trident swinging in. How, how now, boy? You stop my attack well, but lightning doesn't strike twice. Oh, he thinks it was luck. Can you stop this? The ultimate spear technique, which can crush even marble. Pass secretly down through my cobro cobro wits family for 140. This guy's really talking a lot of stuff to just get sliced down in one hit. It's a damn shame. Take this. That didn't work, did it? No, because my man just got his muffin cap split. Yep. That's what I thought was going to happen to Casca. This shot right here. That's how I thought she was going to end up looking. I mean, the, the dude, it, it's over. It's over, buddy. Yeesh. It's actually just over. Came up under the jaw slice? Hmm. Well, the leader of the Blue Whale Armored Infantry Knight Company, whatever it is, is, <laughs> is actually dead, and I'm sure that any of his men that are around the area are going to uh, retreat. They're just going to dip and run. Yeah. It, uh, it's not worth fighting for right now. And the Zimpu, awesome. He took that monster down with just two swings. That's our captain. Watch him go. Is that Corcus here? Give him praise for once. So what? What's wrong? This isn't how you usually are. You're fighting. Your fighting's horrible. You'll wind up dead if you're out of it. Yeah, she's got something going on. Again, my pregnant that time of the month or she actually is like dying maybe she's coming down with a sickness I don't know which one just oh she fainted did she faint or did she get shot by something wait how the hell is this dude even still did he not just get his entire head sliced off here or am I on crack? He didn't. Oh my god. I thought we just like decapitated like the bottom of his jaw upward this way. His head is still intact to his body. He's got his crossbow lined up. Oh, okay, he's still alive. Alright. And he's lining up the crossbow. I don't know if that's going at Casca or that's going at Guts. Ah, uh, shit. He catches her, but we see the arrow. Where's the arrow going? The arrow looks to be heading in the direction of the horse. 
Guts doesn't pull her up and she eats an arrow to the throat here, does she? No, Guts ate an arrow and they both go tumbling. Ah, oh, shit. It looks like he got hit by the arrow. Did the arrow go right behind him? I can't tell because he has the arrow in his side. It looks to be his side here, but I don't see an arrow here. They just fell off a cliff. Captain Guts. Guts, Casca, Captain. Oh, they went all the way down. I mean, you gotta go around and find their asses. That shit hurt. I'm never doing that again. Swimming with my armor on. Alright, so they're both... Well... It doesn't seem like anybody got fatally hit by that arrow. Does he even know CPR? Like, I mean, I guess he's going to tr attempt. Try. What's up with her? It's cool to... It's not, I guess, not cool, whatever the word. It's interesting to see um, him just... He's, he's having, like, a joking moment. Like, that's something he you'd say out loud, you know, to get, like, a laugh. I'm never doing that again, so I'm with my armor on, ha ha ha. When he's always so serious. Trying to give her CPR, some mouth to mouth. Alright, she's alive, she spit out the water. Oh, he did get hit by the arrow. Hmm, hopefully that she don't have any, well we know Guts is alive in the current timeline, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Damn it, that whale bastard, He he's fish bait next time I see him. Still, we're lucky to be alive falling from up there. Hard to believe. What now? Ain't no way we can scale that cliff. How can we get back? And he's saying he's cold. Are they going to have to cuddle up again? They are. And it's going to be him that keeps her warm this time. Hmm. I think they're going to fall in love. And I wonder if... Does them falling in love make Griffith feel some type of way? Positive or maybe, does that make him jealous of what they have? Because I feel like naturally they'll, you know, it's currently the love triangle, but I feel like naturally the two of them will kind of become closer than what Griffith can offer them. Yes, they'll believe and fight for him, but they're going to start believing and fighting for each other. And maybe even bring up the topic of like do we even need to do this anymore you know um or does that make griffith appreciate it even more because now they're not arguing and we can all just love each other and sh i don't know but now they're gonna have to go cuddle up in here and guts is gonna have to be the one that keeps her warm and he's just gonna willingly touch her too by the way high fever must be why she fainted this is bad if she stays in the rain like this oh and they tell griffith guts and casca it was quite a high cliff, but there was a river beneath so surely. This is him talking about... This is him we're talking about. I don't think it's anything life-threatening at least. But whether he'd land safely or not from that height... He'd been wounded and something was wrong with Casca. If we sent out a search party... If we send out a search party, we should hurry. Sir Griffith, you do understand... In war conquering, the enemy is most important. To spare valuable troops from those granted by the king to confirm the life and death of at best a mere unit commander now would be outrageous. <sighs> I don't know who that dude is, but... He's not wrong. Because... You wouldn't do it for anybody else. Not when you're in the, like, they're in the middle of, like, a straight, like, melee battle, siege, all that. It's not like it's, everything's calmed down and we can just go pick them up on our way back in. Like, they're currently at it. So, he, what, he, it's not wrong. Furthermore, he brought this upon himself by engaging in personal combat. No, that wasn't. Besides, the Band of the Hawks, highly touted Raiders captain and female commander are together, are they not? Yeah, so the two of them should be able to take on anything, correct? They ought to be able to surmount such a dilemma with ease, certainly. Now, are all these people out here talking that shit? They've been given to Griffith 
like they're they're men they're knights men of the knights or whatever you want to like they've been given by the kingdom so we don't even know where their agendas really lie do they are they happy to be riding with griffith because of the status that griffith is slingshotting to that if they could be you know in his company in his group by his command it'll help elevate their status but are they also hopeful that maybe he'll fall and one of them can lead the hawks or lead wherever this group is because he's over here talking about oh the band of the hawks highly touted raider you know surely they can handle themselves and then these dudes are over here smirking at each other hmm if they're alive. I mean, of course, Judo and Orcus would want to go look, but Griffith has a decision to make. But what he's saying is, I actually agree with this statement. To spare troops from those granted by the king to confirm the life or death of just some commanders is, you know, what can you do? They're huddled up underneath some tree and shit. Now what to do? Uh, you know, some of the... In some of the enemy saw us fall. If I kindle a fire, it'll be telling them where we are. And Casca can't leave here for a while yet. Ah, I can't help it. There's just no other way. But see, we're getting very, like, comedic relief stuff from here, from him. Which you usually don't see at all. Oh, well. That's the way it is. Besides, it's not exactly the first time with her. What a pain. What the hell is she thinking anyway? Just don't wake up, going into battle with a fever. This is why women don't have any sense. Oh, she is. Blood? I don't know if I can show her uh, on, so I'm gonna have to scale past that real quick. Uh, hold on, let me uh, throw one of these up real quick. <laughs> Blood? Did the idiot get wounded? No, she is on her period. I think she is. So that's it. Must be rough being a woman. He goes from women don't have any sense to must be rough being a woman. Look how he looks so much more massive in that shot right there with how tiny she is. Damn. Solid stuff. Again, nothing crazy as far as... um. Uh, I mean, that's the shot of the chapters right there nothing crazy as far as any world building or demon building stuff and i don't think we're gonna get any of that stuff until that d-day comes where griffith finally you know goes to the dark side it's just gonna be a lot of people plotting and playing chess and now we're starting to get into the just life of men and women teenagers growing up Casca, quote unquote, turning into a woman. Um, hormones are raging and flying, and bodies and <laughs> touching and all that stuff. I, guts has never been around this. Um, so it would be wild for the. I guess it, it would be wild for those two to end up together, knowing how much they just shit talk each other and like slap around back and forth. And maybe it will end up them being together, and it's kind of a wild that, like, that one random guy said, you know, the two most famous commander units of the Hawks, um, to see what they could become, like, being together, commanding next to Griffith side by side. But I am curious what, like, what Griffith, like, if this turns into something, like I said, what does that do for Griffith? Does that make him upset? Because maybe he feels that everything that's his isn't really his anymore their feelings aren't all for him you know they're with each other and he wants it all directed to him or does it make him feel better that like okay their bond is stronger which now makes our bond stronger because i don't know it's a lot because we know how the story turns out as far as the path that griffith chooses but let's say it didn't go that route and griffith pursues the princess and they have to go off and get married. Did you, did you suspect that Guts and Casca would just never find interest in the opposite sex of anybody ever? That they would just stay kind of following you? Like, 
their lives would go on as well. And he's over here preaching about dreams and follow your stuff. So I think it's only natural that, you know, Casca, especially Casca, maybe Guts never gets the chance to come across another woman given the lifestyle he lives, unless it's somebody in the higher ups that, you know, in the princess's inner circle. But I don't think he's built for that whole kind of political have to put on a face life. Um, but Casca is around all these men in the groups, in the Hawk group, and then all the men she'll see in the kingdom. I think it's just natural that she's going to come across somebody, you know, so we'll see. We'll go ahead and leave it there. It's all stuff. I think they're going to end up together, but like I said, I don't think that anybody from the band of the Hawks is currently alive besides Guts and Griffith in the current timeline. I would love to see like a mini Avengers team up. You know, an adult Guts, adult Casca. They go find Judo and they make it and they're like, okay, we're going to get Griffith back or like take down the God Hand and what they did. To I would love to see that. Um, I just don't think any of them are alive. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and leave it there. This will go up on Friday. I'll be back with chapters uh, 16 and 17 on Monday. Um, enjoy your long weekend. Be safe out there. Yeah, appreciate it. Like, share, favorite, subscribe as always.